Tube Your Own Horn is an amazing course. However, all the way throughout this course, be aware he's gonna be manipulating you. And a lot of times that's not in your best interest. In this video, I wanna share with you everything I did like about Dan Locke's Tube Your Own Horn, but I also wanna share with you all the shady marketing tactics that I found throughout this course. When I started Tube Your Own Horn, I was already into internet marketing for like three years. And despite that, I still learned so much in this course that I had never heard about. Like I can safely say that even that if you, even if you do know quite a bit about YouTube, about influencer marketing, it's incredibly likely that you'll find a ton of value here, including uh, tips for YouTube features that are not even out yet. And even if it, they did not share with you that kind of thing, they still share with you amazing crazy stuff like how to figure out exactly what your target customer, what your viewers are looking for. Because you can make the most awesome fucking video ever. And if you're choosing a topic that no one fucking cares about, you're not gonna be as successful. And even then, like, even if you choose a, a topic where people are interested in it, like, yes, you're gonna get views, but what if you could find these few topics that your customers are so fucking thirsty for that they're just gonna watch it over and over and again. And these are the type of topics that will make your videos viral. And obviously, the more people end up watching your fucking videos, the more money you're gonna make. And I can safely say that these tips have given me crazy fucking results in the last few weeks. My views have grown up fucking exponentially. And if one video topic could net you 10 times more views than another topic, it means that you need to make 10 times less videos to make the same amount of AdSense money. You see, there's a lot of good stuff in here. And despite all the shady marketing tactics, which I'll talk about in a moment, I've still been able to make two times more money in the last two months than I've made in the months before that. And that's all thanks to this course. Maybe you're already watching Dan Locke on YouTube, but I'm telling you, there's a there's a huge difference between what he teaches you on YouTube and what he teaches you in these programs. Like I was already a internet marketing professional before I watched this course. If, if you're a beginner to this, this course will fucking transform you. But before you buy, but, but before you buy, let's talk about this course's issues. If you wanna know what kind of guy Dan Lok is, let me share with you his views on manipulation. In his opinion, if you're manipulating someone and you have good intentions, you know, you're trying to manipulate them so that they do something that is good for them, you're not a manipulator, you are an influencer, and that's the right thing to do. So in his views, manipulating is, manipulating can be a good thing. This is basically his philosophy. You can see what kind of guy this is. This guy will manipulate you to further your interest or what he believes to be your interests when in fact he's never met you, he's never known you, and he doesn't know what you really need. He's still gonna manipulate you as if he knew you and as if he knew your needs. Now, chances are, if you're getting into two of your own horn, if you're interested in this course, your goal is probably to learn how to make a good amount of money on YouTube. At least enough to pay your rent and pay your basic expenses. And the way this course is set up is that Dan Lok only starts talking about how to make money in the last video in, on week six. And all the way through before that, he's gonna be hyping up that week six. He's gonna keep talking about it, keep telling you like, you're gonna learn everything you need in week six and basically make you feel like week six is gonna be awesome. Oh boy. Just about everything you learn up till that point is is pretty good. And when when that last video starts, like I was excited. I thought, man, if this is as good as the rest of the course, this is gonna be fucking amazing. But tur but turns out you barely learn anything about how to make money in this course. And like all the tips he gives you, 
and all of the opportunities he share, shares with you on how you can make money with YouTube, he doesn't go way, he doesn't go nearly deep enough into all he's teaching you. He's just giving you the overview. He's just telling you, hey, there's affiliate marketing. Hey, there's brand deals. But he doesn't show you how to get these things. He just share with, shares with you that these are ways you can use to make money. But the truth is, you could get just the same amount of information if you were going on Google and Googling what are the ways I can make money on my YouTube channel. You put up a blog and a blog page and you're gonna get pretty much the same depth of information. And another, another interesting fact worth mentioning is that you can ask for a refund all the way up till week four. But just, bef but just before the end of week four arrives, Dan just keeps telling you like, don't give up here, stay with us. Like the important information on how to make money is still ahead. Like this is gonna be amazing. You don't wanna miss that and all that shit. But what I noticed in these weeks five and six after the point where you cannot ask for a refund anymore is that the quality of the lectures is noticeably lower. My impression was that he put the best content up front before we before week five so that you get the feeling that weeks five and six are going to be just as good so that you don't want to ask a refund. The lecture on week five is okay. The lecture on week six is complete trash. In week six, after giving you the lackluster section on how to make money on YouTube, man, Dan Lok spans almost half the fucking course. That's like two and a half hours, I believe, just telling you that if you try to start your YouTube channel now and try to make money off of it and live off, live off of it, you're not gonna be successful. He does everything to make you fear that you're not going to be able to make money. And after that, he's like, oh, wait, here's a solution. Buy my $2,000 worth course called High Ticket Closer. Please give me another $2,000 now. And, if you, and, and it feels really fucking out of place and weird. All the way throughout his course, he's building up your self-confidence. He's telling you how you can do it, how you can be successful. And at the last minute, he just destroys all of that and goes a complete 100, 180 degrees and starts destroying your, your confidence in what he's just taught you so he can sell you another course that's worth $2,000. Well, thank you, Mr. Danlog. I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate that. I know a lot of people who buy these courses are people who have self-esteem and self-confidence issues. Now, after hearing that beautiful pitch you just made on how they will not be able to be successful if they use what they learned in this course to try to make money off of YouTube, what do you think is gonna happen, Dan? Congratulations on crushing their dreams. Think about what if you had not said that. Think about how many people would have went on to build amazing YouTube channels, but did not just because you told them that they will not be successful unless they buy HTC and give you more money. Thank you, Mr. Dan Locke. Did you even think about that or don't you even give a fuck just because you want to get our money? What the fuck, Dan? What the fuck? Look, with any education product, or any course or program. What matters most is not how true what the teacher tells you, not how good the tactics are. The truth is every one of us has goals, has things we want to accomplish. Maybe your goal is to become successful on YouTube and make money from making videos on something you like and man, the thing that matters most in the end is not whether or not the tactics you learn work or not. The thing that matters the most is how likely you are after watching the course to actually 
get closer to your fucking dream. Like, I don't care if the tactics he teaches you are good. If he's telling you that you can't do it and crushing your self-confidence at the end, you, you're not, you're, you're not, that's not getting you closer to achieving your goals. And the fact that the section in the last class on how to make money, the fact that it's so short almost makes me wonder if it's done on purpose, <laughs> just to make sure that you don't have enough and you just have to buy HTC. Like, it makes me wonder if Dan Locke's not like purposefully keeping you starving so that he can s sell you more food, more courses. And honestly, if you wanna go through this course, what I recommend is you just don't watch the last video. Or if you watch it, just keep in mind, he's just selling me something. And yet with that said, like, despite all that, despite all these shady, weird manipulation, marketing tactics, like I have still managed to make more videos in the last two months than I've done before that. And I've still made more than two times as much money in the last two months than I've done in the months before that. But keep in mind that I've been into internet marketing for like three years before that. And to be honest, I don't know. In fact, I'm pretty sure I would not have gotten these results if I was a complete beginner. Like, I don't know how much this course is actually gonna help you on its own. This is still possibly the best YouTube course available right now. I'm just fucking disgusted by by the way it uses these weird shady tactics so that you pay them another $2,000 after already paying $3,000. Like, don't, don't you think that a course you pay $3,000 for should fucking give you what you need? Like, you're buying it. You're buying a course on how to build a YouTube channel that makes money and you don't get enough information about how to make money. Like, what the fuck is that? And at the end, he's telling you that you're going to fail. <sighs> I still recommend going through this course if you're serious about YouTube. I know even if it will not necessarily bring you to the level where you're able to make a lot of money on YouTube, it will improve your YouTube game a lot. But I think you need to both take everything he says with a grain of salt and also maybe consider getting another course that will teach you the, the part that this course is clearly missing, which is how to monetize your channel. Like the sections on how to build good videos on how to find what kind of videos you need to build, how to make good thumbnails and everything like that. This is in here. The quality of the content is awesome. And these are all fucking important skills that you will need regardless of the fact that this course has a lacking section on how to make money. But since it has a lacking section on how to make money, you're going to have to find that information elsewhere. And also if you, if you realize that maybe Dan Locke's Do Your Own Horn is not the course you're looking for, maybe consider checking out our other videos. It's very likely you'll find the exact course you're looking for there. You might consider subscribing if you want to hear more views like this. With that said, thanks for watching and take care.